So I'm realizing that my plan backfired on me because uh, now we ain't here really shopping. And uh, I didn't see that happening. She's over here trying to finish my sentences, knowing she never has finished my sentence correctly. Look at her. First of all, she didn't want to be on this camera. It's the whole reason why I'm holding it for me. Oh, God. Now, look, make it nope, turn. now you get it. Now you get all of it because you want to be nosy. Either you're in the vlog or you're not. Hey, lovelies. It's Ebony, and I'm back with another video for you. This time, I decided I would do one of our little chit chat videos since I had some viewer requested videos that I wanted to get to. And this is something I've been wanting to talk to. Uh, you guys about for a while now i just haven't gotten around to it obviously so let's get right into it so let's talk about hair shedding a lot of people have been asking me in comments randomly for a while now like ebony how much hair do you shed do you shed hair and i know it must be like a thing on people's mind when they see my videos because i have so much hair that they're probably like does she ever shed any hair or she has so much hair she must shed a lot <laughs> So what I want to say about that is no matter how much hair you have, the average person normally sheds about 50 to 100 strands of hair a day. I know that sounds like a lot, right? <laughs> but when you talk about all the hair on your head, that's literally nothing. And think about how much hair you probably are shedding when you wait longer than a week or so to detangle your hair. If you guys have been watching my vlog videos, then you've already seen my husband a number of times and you see that he has hair. And every time I comb his hair, he's always like, why are you taking out so much of my hair? You're pulling out my hair. And I'm like, no, this is shed hair. I haven't done your hair in a week. This is what happens when your hair is braided up. You know, even more so, you're gonna have so much shed hair just hanging on because the dead hair is now stuck in a braid. So he always thinks I'm doing extra, which I'm not. I promise I know what I'm doing. <laughs> But it's just a perfect example of how much hair you can shed when you don't comb it every single day. So I know sometimes that can look a little scary, but just keep that in mind whenever you see a lot of hair when you're detangling your hair. But don't get it confused. It can also be a sign of something else going on if you are shedding way too much hair. And we'll get into that later in this video. Now back in the winter slash spring, I decided I would do a hair shedding video, but I wanted to track how much hair I was shedding before you know I posted for you guys. And I decided I would do it with apple cider vinegar rinses. I'm just gonna say ACV rinses because that's such a mouthful and I feel like I'm saying it a hundred times. <laughs> I decided I would do these ACV rinses before you know shampooing my hair to see if it really cuts down on the shedding because I've heard people say even like literally to my face like I've used apple cider vinegar rinses and, and it has drastically cut down on how much hair comes out when I detangle. So I'm all for that. I literally hate loose hair. Like, I know I have a YouTube channel all about hair, but the minute, the second it leaves my scalp and touches the sink or the floor or any wet surface, ugh, like, I'm losing my mind. I hate wet hair. I don't know what it is. It's not even, ugh, it's my hair. It's not even anyone else's. I just, uh, I can't take it. So anyways, I decided I would do that just to cut down on the shed hair and I collected all the hair that came out while I was detangling my hair and the shower hair too because I still have some shed hair that comes out when I shower and I would clump it all together just to see how much it was and it really didn't give me a big difference. And I did this three times for over almost a two month span and I didn't really see a huge difference from picture to picture. I was hoping to see like, you know, the ball of hair shrink, but I don't know. I guess I'm not really losing more than the average amount of shed hair in a day. Maybe it wasn't enough there for the ACD to help cut back with. So I kind of took that as a good sign, I guess. You know, I don't want to be losing too much hair on a regular basis anyway. And the only way to stop that is the ACB rinses. So I will include those pictures at the end so you guys can see how much hair I lose. Uh, you know, for those who wanna know, there might be some people out there who hate hair, loose hair, dead hair, just as much as I do, and maybe don't wanna see that part at all. <laughs> so I'll just stick that at the end. Back to the issue of too much hair shedding or hair loss and what you can do. Hair loss, let me just start with that since we've been talking about shedding for a while. Hair loss is an indicator of something internally going on. It's like when you have bald spots, your hair is just coming out in large clumps, something is going on, maybe it's medication, maybe it's stress, Maybe there is a uh, nutrient deficiency that you don't, that you aren't aware of that you need to get under control. Whatever it is, 
please make sure you just see a doctor. Most times when that type of thing is happening, it's not a whole lot you can do on your own, or at least this is my thought. If something out of the norm, that extreme is happening to my body, I don't trust myself or Google or word of mouth or whatever um, solely to treat it. I have to find out what's going on here because hair loss can be, in my mind, what if it never grows back? What if there's something going on within me that I don't know about? And the longer you wait, the worse the issue can become. So that's all I really have to say about that. I don't wanna direct anyone one way or another when it comes to hair loss, because to me, that's an indicator of something more serious going on. If you have a lot of thinning hair or your hair is shedding a little too much, that to me is also something that you should take to the doctor. But if you've noticed that it kind of comes and goes and you've seen a doctor and the doctor is saying, it. oh it's nothing really internally going on with you maybe it's something that you're doing to your hair on the outside for example you're putting in too many weaves you're wearing too many ponytails too many tension styles those things can really damage your hair and your follicles which can eventually lead to permanent hair loss so that's something that you always want to keep in mind like okay something's going on here I need to stop what I'm doing I need to pay attention especially if you see broken hairs Hair shedding should be the length of your hair. Those strands should be pretty long or pretty short. However long your hair is, it should pretty much match. But when you see those weirdly short strands of hair that are just broken and are all over the sink and floor and you gotta sweep it up and it's, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That's when it's time to really reassess what you're doing or not doing to your hair because that to me says, hey, my hair is dry, it's brittle, it's breaking off. And a lot of times that's just due to too much heat. When I was transitioning, I was, you know, half natural, half relaxed and I was just combing my hair, combing it, brushing it like normal, putting a flat iron on it like normal, curling iron like normal. And I used to see all these broken pieces of hair all through the sink. And I'm like, ooh, that's, that can't be good. So when I went to the hair salon, I cut it all off. I had a haircut all the way up to here. I got rid of all that dead hair because I just didn't want to continue to cause the damage to maybe some of the healthy strands that were still left in my hair. So if you're noticing that, make sure that you are taking the initiative to really assess your hair regimen. If you have split ends, make sure you get those trimmed and just include deep conditioning into your regimen because a lot of times it's just, your hair is just thirsty, it's dry, it's breaking off because it doesn't have anything to you know, keep it together. Now for hair thinning, if you have spots in your hair where the hair is thinning, then um, there are some things you can do like different oils. Maybe you could take some biotin. I know a lot of people like that um, and they've seen the difference as well. I will put some links in the description box giving you remedies like for oils and different things that you can use to put in your hair to help with hair thinning and um, ex excessive shedding. I know a lot of people like to use castor oil. Only thing with castor oil is it's so thick that you probably will want to wash it out. You'll have to do like a hot oil treatment or add it to your deep conditioner that you're already using and rinse it out that way. Whatever floats your boat. I've, I've literally talked to people who said that castor oil has helped them grow their hair back. So don't be discouraged. There are things that you can definitely try to get your hair back in order. Oh, and before I go, I want you guys to know that I will be linking in the description box a video that I did a while back talking all about how I grew my hair. I've been growing my hair ever since I got that cut that I told you guys about. That was in 2009 and still to this day, People, you know, you get new followers, new subscribers. People want to know, Ebony, how did you grow your hair? Um, there's a lot that I talked about in that video, so I'm just going to link it in the description box below. So you guys don't have to watch me talk for 30 or 40 minutes. And yeah, I hope that that's helpful. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope that you guys learned some things. I hope that you... Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope it answers some of the questions that you all might have had. So just a quick rundown. Too much hair shedding slash hair loss. Please go see a doctor. Please make sure everything is okay. If you're trying to stop your hair from thinning or if you're trying to help your hair grow back, look into some oils, look into some uh, nutrient supplements and make sure that you are taking good care of your hair. Make sure it's moisturized, make sure it's deep conditioned. Make sure that you are giving it plenty of TLC. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.